and everything always seems to balance out. They always we swing far left, we swing far right. Yeah. Why is moderate such a dirty word? I don't like to label myself as anything no. because then all of a sudden the script says, ooh, come over here, join the moderates, join the libertarians, join the atheists, join the Christians. Join... Fuck your groups. I don't want to be part of a group. I'm a person, I'm an American, and I'm going to believe on every issue separately how I see the facts. And if you have facts that can sway me in a certain way, I'll listen to you and possibly I'll change my opinion on that particular issue but I'm not gonna join your group. Unless there's cake. Yeah, I might take a little more than cake. You can't have cake without ice cream. You can. You can, you can. I'd have to be really moist. I'm not a big fan of, the, of cake. You said it's so dry. Mm. So Especially I've had a few good buttercream cake cakes. Cake versus but. pie fight. It's just, that's another, that will never end like racism. <laughs> but uh, I, I think ice cream filled cake. Ice cream cake, if you gotta like ice cream cake or you just don't like sweets. Well, so I, I understand there is that there, <laughs> there can be like bad pie and you won't eat it. But even if like you go to like an office birthday party and it's like one of those shitty sheet cakes and you're like, yeah, yeah you know, this cake's terrible, but you know, still free cake. No one's gonna turn down cake. Very true, man. I, I bought the shittiest pie I have ever tried at my work. I won't say where I work, but we got these pies in that were literally called eat. It's they were called eat irregular pies. Ah. And they gave us this chart, and they said by looking at the pies, and there's pictures, we're supposed to write what kind of pie each one is. Mm. And we had a bunch of them left. We had about 50 of this one pie left, and it says it was sugar cream, and it really looked like apple. Mm. I'm like, I just have to know what this is, because nobody's buying this damn pie, because nobody knows what sugar cream is. So I buy it, I put it in the office, and I take a little bite of it, and it's literally like a crust made out of Crisco, filled with sugar, corn syrup, and more syrup. Oh. It was like the most disgusting thing I've put in my mouth in a long time. And yeah, I put this on the break room table and just put, please eat. I've never had so many people pissed off at me about free food. They're like, who put that fucking cake in the break room? Right. Like, why? It's the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. I don't know who put it in there. But, oh. but yeah, it was me, and then most of it went in the garbage. But yeah, if you ever see sugar cream pie out there, just stay away. And and uh, this is loosely connected to the whole West Virginia rally somehow. Um, they like a lot of pie there. They do. Pecan pie in the <clears throat> South is a big thing. I like pecan pie. I can't get into mincemeat. Never had a good mincemeat. Never, Never tried it. Huh. I just, I don't know if meat goes on pie. Well, unless it's Popeyes. I, I do love Popeyes. I miss my Boston Market. Oh, I, love, I miss when we used to have Boston Markets up here. Yeah, they had one in Seattle. I was so excited. I'd watch all the commercials as a kid. Yeah, there's one in Linwood. Um, I think they're still while. around now because they make, they they're, make they're, they're, dinners. They're more like an East Coast, like, uh, East Coast franchise now. They kind of, like, branched uh, out throughout the West, and it didn't really, it just wasn't working for them. Yeah, I mean, we, we could get a Seattle market, but I have a feeling I'd go there and just get, like, quinoa and celery sticks and cucumber water. And I, I really liked their meatloaf and their little cornbread muffins. Those were so good. Oh, the cornbread muffins were good. I had the pot pie and the mashed potatoes and gravy, and it's like it. Their TV dinners are pretty good, too. They're yeah, I, yeah I have tried a couple of them. They are very good. Big endorsement to Boston Market. Feel free to send us a couple dollars our way. Or just um, send me a meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a bunch of them Popeye. little, little mounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And move back to the Northwest. You you got a home over here. Yeah. Uh, Chick Fil A is doing fine. Yeah, Zills Chicken's doing fine. Boston Market, you you're gonna be good over here. Is there don't, a Chick Fil A? Don't be scared. Yeah. There is a Chick Fil A in Tacoma. I think oh. There's a couple other ones. Yeah, yeah no, no one likes Tacoma. to go to Tacoma. If you if you're not from the Seattle area, and somebody says there's something, and then they hear after a Tacoma. Yeah, they're pretty much not going. Sorry, Tacoma. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically it's to Compton is what Tacoma is. Yes, it is the Compton of Washington. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, ne next to be Yakima. That's Eastern Washington's version. Also, but, there's also Spokompton too. Spokane is kind of. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of hit and miss, but yeah, there's a lot of. So if you want to, if you want to find the white Compton, if you think, oh, white people are not as violent and shitty as black people, oh god, no, go, go to Spokane or Concrete. 
you, yeah, you're going to come back with a much different view. Yeah. And that, wh while we're grouping everybody, let's uh, let's talk about this about how uh, people think that white people are safer, and you think you're all how and high and mighty. Oh God, uh, no. How many black serial killers are there out there? There was that one guy in Chicago <laughs> that had like eight women in his basement. I think he was like eating them. But that's the only one I knew about. That's like a sport for white people, though. <laughs> yeah, no, like all Dahmer serial killer. BTK, white. Um, John Wayne Gacy, white. They made baseball cards. They made a series. Yeah, a serial yeah. killer card series. Yep, I saw that. That's how infatuated we are with serial killers. And you know, our, in our in our country, we don't have like the tricked up low riders. You see like jacked up fucking trucks with big ass flags flapping off the back of them. And Probably we, Confederate flag. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't do the crack. We do the meth is our thing. Meth and heroin. Yeah, her heroin's very popular over here right now. You, it's you basically got white right people consume most of the heroin in the country. Yeah, here if you want to, if you want to get laid, just go out on the street and walk around with a heroin needle. Some woman's gonna walk up to you and and make your night, and then you're gonna wake up with some STDs and possibly die of AIDS. But yeah, wear a condom, I guess. I don't know. And if you go to Seattle, they give you even give you queen needles. Yeah, that's the so, nice part. Or so, you could just smoke it too. Can you smoke heroin? I think you can. Huh. I know you can smoke meth. I wasn't, wasn't sure about heroin. I, was, well, I know op you can smoke opium and, and heroin's an opioid derived from things, so. That, that's true. If anybody out there knows in the comments, if you can inform us on how to smoke heroin. And I know a buddy of mine out there. That would really know this answer because he was just a big old heroin junkie. So. Do we need to phone a friend? Um, what was that show? Who uh, <laughs> wants to be a millionaire? I, yeah. I, I, I phoned him, but he's like incarcerated right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little hard to, to get Your one time. phone call for the day. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, can you smoke heroin? All right, but thanks. Bye. Wait, he's like murder list Ab Ryan. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm on a few of those. <laughs> oh, I know I am. It's like, uh, what's the movie? Was it Billy Madison? Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah, where he's calling all those people and apologizing to him. I'm sure I have. I could apologize to a lot of people. My 20th anniversary, I missed it. It was supposed to be this last week, but I was kind of scared to go because I was kind of a really big asshole in high school. Yeah. Um, I just don't care enough to go back to my high school. Oh, I really don't care because I... I have, like, one teacher I'd, say, I'd go say, like, hi to, but other than that, no. Yeah, if you went to my high school, I graduated in class of 2000. If I don't have contact with you now, I literally do not like you. The only pe few people that I like, I still have contact with. So take that for what it's worth, but... I don't like you, or I would have contacted you by now, and I don't need to do a 20-year reunion to talk to you, because I didn't like you the first time, and you're probably still a douchebag.